intellect, but the flow is like incest with degenerates. Fucking stupid and fine of interest as I interject. I moonwalk in my boots, footsteps when I'm on set. Smooth predator boarding the mothership for conquest, cause I'm next. I'm sorry if I'm too witty and a screw loose, so try to fix something to do with me as I cruise the beat with fluency of what's true to be. And truthfully, I miss the way that it used to be. You say you gifted, had to prove it, beat. Set a date, step up to the plate and cease opportunity. Let the viewers of the music see me pay hip hop gratuity as I chew the beat, influencing UMCs with microphone fever. Married to the game with little intention to leave her. As long as she act right and not like a diva. A little less Cardi B and a lot more Aaliyah. We'll see, huh? Sickened by this renaissance of skeezers. Shit is not for me, bruh. Yeah, I wanna hit through some speakers, playing in some kicks on the sneakers. You dead? I'm going through the days where people test my gangsta just for reaction. If I ain't getting paid or recording music, please don't blow my high. Roll another J and get ready to witness the main attraction. Nothing left to say. I'm gonna leave it all right here, but I'm just rapping. Sorry, skies, leave me sorry, I like sorry, I didn't do what I gotta do to make sure we fortified as a unit, but don't leave me mortified if you'd have kept it a hundred, a brother would be more than fine, gave you more than time, gave you some peace of mind, that's why I got some qualms about the way you treated mine, you came close to doing damage to my third eye, that's why instead of people, these beats on my murder, I show up, what's worse, my, would you rather see casualties of me, casually, snap on beat speakers quick, drastically, the team imagine tees as we pass the reef, ask the streets, if I ain't playing cool, they be mad with me, cause I'm the one they want to prevail and fail at the same time, that's why I talk about good and bad in the same rhyme, with an insane grind, I smoke till I'm super sane high, plus divine lyrics, I guess I'm a super sane god, MC, King Charles, FNYK, the flyest native you know, Capo, Capo, Capo. Uh, all my life I've been with intellect, but the flow is like incest with degenerates. Fucking stupid and fine of interest as I interject. I moonwalk in my booth, footsteps when I'm on set. Smooth predator boarding the mothership for conquest, cause I'm next. I'm sorry if I'm too witty and a screw loose, so try to fix something to do with me as I cruise the beat. With fluency of what's true to be And truthfully, I miss the way that it used to be You say you gifted, had to prove it, B Set a day, step up Oh, what's up, what's up? Hey, guys, let me know if you can hear me, man Over, this, uh, I got a fan blown over here in the corner I'm in the shop again, man And uh, let me know if you guys can hear me Let me take it up when you come in Say what's up when you come in, man And, uh right now while I'm thinking about it. Oh. Damn. There it is. What's up, what's up, what's up? Give you guys a few minutes to come in, man, and uh, we'll start our little ranting session, man. I got right here. What's up? Where about that, man? I know I'm kind of inconsistent, man, but I cut no break, man. Going through something. Y'all at? Where y'all at? What's up? What's up? Come on in, man. What's up, what's up, what's up, Frank? Frank said, how's it going? Now, I'm waiting on everybody to show up, man. Why y'all so slow tonight, man? Is it because I don't never do what I say I'm going to do? Frank, do me a favor, man. Give me a thumbs up if uh, my audio is okay, man. Because I got this, this fan blowing in the background over here. I don't want it to drown out what's going on. You can hear me well, man. Give me one of these.
Hey guys, give me a thumbs up, man, if you can hear me well, man. Um, I'm trying to um, make sure the audio is okay, man, before I get this thing popping off, man. I'm going to apologize, man, because uh, I haven't been consistent, man. But you know what? Y'all knew what y'all were getting into before y'all got into it. So I can hear you good, just a little static, but not bad. Yeah, that's that fan blowing over in the, in the corner, man. And, uh. You know, it's one of those shop fans, so they don't really have a, a quiet mode or a, 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 what you call it, doggone slow speed on it. I think it is on slow speed. I'll give you guys a few minutes, man, and I'm going to uh, get this thing cracking, man. Uh, I talked to a couple of fellas today, and they, they want to go live and uh, bring out something, man. So, uh, uh, guys, if you're on the broadcast and uh, you needed an invite, it's in the um, it's in the comment, man. Copy and paste that in your browser, man. It'll bring you to the it'll bring you to the uh, the broadcast and come on in. But uh, I was looking for Sammy the Dragon Slayer to come through and uh, Derek Fulton. Uh, Sammy had an announcement, and I think. Uh, uh, I just wanted to pick Derek's brain today. Yo, what's up, Vincent? <laughs> Y'all see that Joker Lope, man? Tell him to come on in. Thank my medicine, man. Y'all, y'all pray for me. What about it, man? Y'all will come in when I get ready to get off of him. Uh oh, I got a tick. Let me see what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, well, let me say, did I send a link? And it's in the comment. Let me let me send the link right quick. Y'all stand by. Oh. Yeah, stand by. I know I'm drinking production tonight, man, but hey, it is what it is, man. Like I gotta say, ain't nothing to me. No. Hmm. Oh, lad. I don't know why you just can't go in the comments and get it. Y'all talk to him about that. They Yeah, I sent it, Sam. Come on in, bro. Yeah. All right, we got some folks on here tonight, man. Guys, um, I talked to Sam today. Sam Wright, and they dig the flies, man. He told me he wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. I guess on uh, some of the uh, orders that he has, he has in with him or whatever. And uh, of course, we want to talk uh, a little bit about uh, new garment update. We, well, he actually brought it to my attention, and it was something I hadn't done. But we're gonna talk about it. Just, just a moment, I guess, when he comes in on the broadcast, man. Hopefully, no issues with him on his end, but uh, we'll talk about that. And again, I got, uh, hopefully, Derek Fulton will come in. I want to talk to him, because I don't know if you guys are members of the Facebook page, but uh, guys been killing him out there, man. I'm talking about three pound traffic, man. And um, that's it. Uh, I think he told me Santee Lake, something like that, Santee Fuku. And uh, you guys had not seen I would show it tonight, but I'm not actually using my uh, studio equipment. I'm using my iPad, man. It's been a lazy day for me, man. And uh, I just got through uh, running around, man, uh, trying to get a little exercise in. And uh, so uh, I just came in here, turned on this fan, and uh, here I am, man. 
talk to you guys and see what's up. Guys, why y'all so quiet tonight, man? Hit me up in the comments, man. Tell me what's up. Give me one of these and uh, some these and all that kind of stuff. Let's 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 do what we do, man. He said, yeah, they put the hammer down today, man. I don't know if he went. Yeah, I think he went today. But uh, yeah, he did some phenomenal stuff today, man. What's up, Slim? It's looking like uh, what's like, cracking? Got it, bro. What's up? Give me well. Give me well. Give me well. What's cracking? You can't hear me. What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you good. Okay. I was asking about three times, man. Yeah. I guess you wouldn't listen to me. Hey, that's a that's a that's a better way to Yeah, I'll you good. Yeah, man. Well, uh, that was supposed to be me in the hospital, man. Uh, I told the guys you want to come in and make the announcement. And then uh, uh, we're going to talk about that going over the next thing you were talking about today. Then uh, I guess uh, Hammer gonna give him a little insight on what he was doing today. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No crap. Not a long sign. Okay, you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, man. Okay. But I think you go. You, oh, you can hear me right now? Yeah. Not a long oh, you listen to me okay, on the you hear me now? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah, you got that echo in the background, man. I guess you, you, you listen to your TV. Yeah. Not a long sign. Okay, you hear me now? Yeah, I got you. I got you, man. Okay, I'm gonna say you got an echo in the background, man. I got you, right now. You listen to your TV. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna say you got an echo in the background, man. I got you, right now. You listen to your TV. Yeah. I'm gonna say you got an echo in the background, man. I got you, right now. You listen to your TV. Yeah. I'm gonna say you got an echo in the background, man. I got you, right now. You listen to your TV. Yeah. Hey, you don't have your headset, man. Lord, have mercy, y'all help me, please. Look like I'm gonna have to get it. Damn, man. Yeah, you're gonna have to get it, man. When you about 15, 20 seconds behind me. Y'all, y'all give him a minute, he'll come back. Thank you for nothing. Right. His idea to go live, man. 903 fishing, what's up? What's up, Romero? Come on on here, man. If you want to holler at us, man. And um, the link in the, in the in the chat, man. If you want to come in and holler at us, um, you like you caught a few today, man. I saw your post, man. Come in and holler right like quick. You ain't doing nothing. You say, uh. Y'all give, my, y'all give my boy Sammy a minute, man. Let him get his stuff together, man. This kind of one want to go live tonight. He can't even get it together. It's gonna be all right, man. We got a nice little studio we're going on behind him too, man. Y'all give him a thumbs up for that, man. We can try. Game day. We need to put his banner behind him. I'm gonna teach him one day. Maybe he'll get it together. Yeah, it's getting cold out there, man, and um, uh, I haven't actually been fishing. But matter of fact, yes, I, I I went fishing recently. Uh, it wasn't a great outing for me. Uh, it was behind a bunch of rain. Caught fish, man. It just wasn't no size to them, man. Uh, I didn't hit them right, man. I went to a a new location. Uh, the ton of fish there, man, but it just wasn't the size that I like, man. Uh. 
I definitely want to go keep the size that I had, man. Uh, uh, somebody came back and told me I had a, a crab killing me, man. Talking about we be keeping eight inch fish. That's the Lord, have mercy. I don't know what to say about some people, man. You gonna go fishing Friday, home? Yeah. Um. Uh, if uh, Derek come on, I let you guys know what I'm gonna do, man. But um. Uh, I'm gonna wait till you come on for open my mouth. Let Sam get it up together, man. There you go. Can you hear me now? Woo. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Hey, turn your mic down just a bit, man. Who you loud? My mic's still up. There you go. You straight now. That's good. Excellent, man. All right, man. Let's start this thing out, man. Oh, Hammer's supposed to come in and uh. They spill, man. So uh, I guess we can go and get it started right quick. You good with that? Can you hear me, Sam? Good, good. Let's do it. Hey, man, you don't have your your, your can you hear me? not working, man. I can hear you. Yeah. You can't hear me. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you ain't responding. How about it now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you are you hearing me through the ear your earpiece or through the uh broadcast? Definitely ain't hearing me through that earpiece. I hear you through the earpiece. Oh you can. You you way behind me though. For some reason you responding like 30 seconds behind me. Oh man, I don't know about the lag. Now? I'm in the shop. Oh okay. Well, uh, let's start this thing off. What's up, guys? This is uh y'all vote aka Django 3K with DB Crabby Fishing and Outdoors, man. Uh, who I got with me tonight? <laughs> oh man. Oh, Love Sam him. Wright, game day jigs and flies. Been a long time. Man, that was like 40 seconds behind me, man. No, I, mean, I don't. I, this ain't gonna work, man. You can't. You can't hear me. Was it? You can't hear me, man. This, it, you way behind. Me. What's up, Derek? Come on in, man. Crap habit, what's up? What's up, Joe Stalk? What's going on with your hand, bro? What's up? You can't hear nothing I'm saying, man. I don't know why it's taking so long for you to, to hear me. Can you hear me, Django? I can hear you fine. You can't hear me. Maybe it's a lag in the broadcast. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's go, Derek. All right, now let's see. Let's see what Derek does. If Derek lagging is you. What's up, dude? What's up, Django? So I guess it's Sammy again, huh? Oh, that lag over. Can you hear me good there? Oh, yeah. What's going okay, on, Sammy? Here's... What's up, Sammy? You probably need to restart, Sammy. What's up, Tony? Oh, you can hear me good, Sango? Restart. I can hear you great. I can hear both of yeah, y'all great. Y'all can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you good. I think this Sammy must be having some issues. Do I got light? Yeah, you way behind. What's going on with you, that D? What you been doing lately, bro? 
Hey, man, been putting that work in, like Loke say. <laughs> I see, man. I mean, I, I look at your fish, man. I'm just like, good gracious, how your fish is so fat, man. This yeah, that's why fish, I did bro. that video, man. A lot of people, uh, well, you know how it is, man. They, they'll they take a picture of a fish and have it stretched all the way out like this. I said, yeah, I'm going to do a man. video show these people how big these fish really are down here, boy. Yeah, it's it's. I had a great day yesterday, man. That's one of the, one man, of my top I five it. days. I kept twenty. That's good. But I probably probably, that big, man. On average. Yeah, they was all over a one sixty. I think my smallest. Oh, I tell you what, my smallest. Well, I took a picture of my my scale when I weighed them. I was just I was really trying to get to 14 pounds, man, but uh I got hungry. I had to come home. <laughs> I see y'all was catching them uh them uh sea donkeys. <laughs> yeah, man. I you know what? I actually got a whole lot more footage that's coming down the pipeline. I just been lazy with it, you know. Yeah, and, I understand. Uh, guys, you know, I've been checking my analytics, man, and I gotta say this, man. 87 percent of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed man so what's going on man if you guys watch the videos man hit the subscribe button man. it's a very small step for you guys all you gotta do is just press the red button but it, yeah. it, it, it's great for me you know what i'm saying so it's like you know even on my top videos you know 87 percent of those videos don't, are not subscription uh watching you know what i mean i guess you know what i'm talking about too don't you yeah i wonder if a lot of people are watching that don't even have like a youtube you know you know what i mean they're just how, watching how the videos you, watching? you can watch youtube without being without being logged in for real yeah so so like if somebody uh, like if i watch your video and i want somebody to see it i can copy the link Right. send them the link and they can watch it and they don't have to be they don't have to have youtube at all i think that's some of them that's probably not a majority but that's some of them well guys so, yeah uh you caught the last video i don't know uh the last video i posted was a uh, thought life video uh, i was um uh, let me say it right um i had someone uh take me on a saltwater excursion man and uh it was one of them uh uh lifetime experiences man and i had such a great time and uh i thank uh uh butterfield for doing that for me um uh, thanks for your generosity and definitely thanks for the experience but um i've got i got hours of footage man that i'm actually going to produce and bring to the channel I'm just dragging my feet right now. I had a couple of things that I'm dealing with. So when I get the time, I'm, you know, the guys that are, are true subscribers to the channel, they y'all know pretty much y'all know my mentality, you know. Uh, we'll show you some quality videos, you know what I'm saying? As I, you know, in my perspective, quality. And um, we're going to put them out there, man. It may not be in a timely manner, man, but you guys going to get it, man. You know what I'm saying? You get to that. And, um, I got some great footage coming up, man. Uh, we went to uh, Steen Hatchet, Florida, man. You ever been there before, Derek? Huh? Your mic off. What part? Steen Hatchet. No, I, ain't never, I don't think I've ever been there. I'm it's pretty sure like I had never been there. Hatchet, but they pronounce it Steen Hatchet. And okay. man. They invited me down, man, and uh, I went down. They had an Airbnb. They had a private, uh, private skip. I mean, for two days we went out there. And we fished the Gulf of Mexico, man, and we caught wow. seemed like every species except gag grouper, man. Uh, gag grouper, and uh, I really wanted the mahi mahi, but we didn't get into those. We yeah. caught amberjack. We caught red snapper. We caught. Uh, Vermilion snapper. We call uh, what's the brown snapper? The uh, mangrove. Mangrove snapper. What's the other snapper? Uh, red yellowtail snapper. We call uh, 
Uh, what's the the the, the calm and snap of everybody can't? Dog tooth. And man, we caught so many different snapper yeah. species, and on top of that, we caught corgis, man. We caught trigger fish. We caught yeah. red grouper. We caught uh, what's the uh, scat grouper? We caught uh, what's the little thing that stick on the side of a shark? We suck their blood. <laughs> uh, uh, a a or something like, like that. More, it, it's called something like that. It's, it's long, man. Yeah. But you would think it'd have a sucker on it, man. But it doesn't have a mouth just like a regular fish, you know. I don't actually oh, I, know how they stick stick to them, but yeah, I know. We caught those, man. We caught nurse sharks, man. We caught, uh, like I say, amberjack. We caught, um, I caught a uh, herring. What it was actually is a kingfish, but I didn't, I didn't bring them in. But I still got them. I got them. I got them on on tape. Yeah. And, uh, we call. Uh, man, what's the other? We call some uncommon. We call the uh, what's the one that looked like a catfish? Cobia. We call cobia, cobia, and we caught some. And uh, what's the other one? A lot of people call them trash fish. Um, uh. It kind of reminds you of a tuna, but they look blue, blue silver. What's those things called? Uh, uh, can't think of it right now. Yeah, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, they got real, real, real bloody meat in them, man. And, uh, yeah. We actually use them for cut bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, real oily. We caught, yeah. yeah, we caught a lot of fish, man. We had a great time, man. That's good, man. So I, good I like it. I'm ready to put it out there. Yeah, I, I I used to we used to do it every summer, man. We used to go off the coast of Savannah and catch uh redfish and black sea bass and amberjacks. Them amberjack boy. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, did you did you watch the video? Yeah, yeah. Okay, check this out. All right, the day prior to that video, yeah. we were landing. We we were catching. We ain't landing nothing. We call amberjack, right? Yeah. And uh. It took every bit of an hour sometimes just to get the amberjack tired enough so you can get them close to the boat, right? And then I'm talking about two, three men working together on one pole, you know? Wow. I'm sitting here recording it, and uh, as soon as they get it to the boat, here come the sharks. You know what I mean? Oh, it wow. It crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. You got it together, bro. I hope so. <laughs> Don't sound like it. No, he's still lacking. Look, look like. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little better, I guess. Is it? Well, I tell you, I tell you what, man. Since you have an issue, just go ahead and make your announcement, Sammy, and then we'll fix that stuff uh, later in the broadcast. Go ahead and make your announcement. You got. To yeah, yeah. For hey, for all you guys out there that uh got jig orders with me, well, I've been working. I've been working. I've been very, very busy. So as soon as I slow up from work, I'm going to get your order out. That's why I've been uh, slow with your order. Um, uh, Jerry, you've been, you've been in the Army a long time, right? Yeah. Is it, is it a such thing as a good excuse? <laughs> oh, I'm just curious. <laughs> hey, oh. ex excuses don't last through contact, baby. <laughs> he wrong. He wrong, Hammer. He, he no, wrong, man, Hammer. You wrong. You got an excuse, man. He pulled. He pulled on that jig, man. I know. Look, you got to do better, hey. man. You got to do better. Listen. It ain't no fault or a foul, cause they haven't paid me nothing, so it's no fault or a foul. We gonna let you slide, yeah. man. You family. Hey, them them jokers don't mess around with jigs, boy. They don't let them start talking about you. Hey, tell them, man. It's time. It's that time you to drag them uh, lines, boy. <laughs> ain't, ain't yeah, man. This hey, this is right now is. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite times of the year, man. Uh, because of the fish yes, fighting and, and less boat traffic, man. There's only like three boats on the whole lake yesterday, man. I was, I was, it yeah. was awesome. That's what I'm talking about, man. Um, 
Sammy called me today, man. I was on, on my way to um, Atlanta. And uh, he said, hey, dude, you going live today? I said, well, I hadn't think, thought about it because I'm actually heading to Atlanta. I don't know if I'm going to be back in time. And uh, he said, well, you'll be back. I don't know how he knew I'd be back in time there. He stayed there in Chicago. <laughs> he said I'd be back on time. So I said, okay. And uh, if I get back on time, we're going to go live. And uh, we was talking about Garmin. He asked me, have I got the new update? And I said, new update? I said, what you talking about? That perspective mode? That last time I updated my unit. He said, no, man, they got a bunch of new updates. One that, that clears up, like, it makes it look like you got trees on your unit. When the last time you updated your garden, Derek? Uh, probably about two months ago. Okay, what's the new update? Do you know? Yeah, I'll tell you. Fact, I look it up on my phone. Yeah, I got it on my phone, too. Uh, I know I didn't do the last one yet because I always read before I update. I always kind of read what the uh, what it is, and it, it didn't look like it would be nothing that will help me. So, unless they got a fix now, if it's a fix to something, I always do those. But yeah, uh, the version they got out now is 2021. 0920.0. Oh, I'm sorry. 0920.1, right? That's the hold on, that's the system version. Uh for for the Garmin itself, the GLS ten is uh version two dot five five. It's the one that they got right. ready to right now. Okay. And what, what does it do? Uh, I had to go on their website to see it, okay. but I, I I looked at it when it came out, and I didn't see nothing that uh, that would help me. I know he was saying something because I actually got that issue going on with mine, where when you and it is it's definitely bad on the two uh, D sonar. You don't use your two D that much, do you? No, I use down image and then uh, side image on my hummingbird though. Yeah, you'd be looking for struts. Well. I use that. I like to use that uh, 2D imaging when I'm scrolling through the water because it picks up the fish so well, you know. And um, and it actually has those uh, vertical lines going in the screen. It makes it look like you got trees. You're going over trees, right? It gives you a false indication that you're going over trees, but it's just some line or maybe a, a glitch in the system or what have you. And that, that's supposed to be uh, what Samuel was telling me was that update was supposed to fix that issue. Among other which, things, which version is your uh, which version is your uh, black box on right now? Hell if I know, you got, man. Like I said, last time I updated mine was late, late, late last year. Do you use the Active Captain? Yeah. So if you go on Active Captain and then go to uh, My Marine Devices, it'll tell you which which uh, software version. Yeah, I, it's out there on my boat, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's how I normally do it, man. I, I I download through the active cap. Yeah, I I did do the one that added the new colors on there though. That was pretty cool. And man, I and what I did was so special about it. Well, it's different colors. So depending on the light conditions, you can see better. Okay. So I I I got about three or four that I changed based on the light conditions. Uh you know. So it's that's that was pretty cool. And then they got they had one, I don't remember if it was the last one, the ghost tree reject. That was a good one. Um it added another uh menu key on your unit for ghost you know tree reject. Was. Say again? Oh ghost tree reject. That's a menu key. Ghost tree reject, yeah. And you just turn it on or off. Yeah, yeah, and it really what it does is it, it, it kind of adjusts the sensitivity oh, well. and stuff so you don't see it as as uh as good but i got used to seeing the goat tree it was transparent to me i i i knew what it was there i could i could like see through it for lack of a better term so i i was good with it but it it helped a little bit i mean it was a good it was a good update man i got so many upgrades on my boat i hadn't even put on there yet. like um do you have the hockey puck on your boat 
Uh, yeah. Does it? Do you find any value out of it? Oh yeah, I use it. Um, some people say that it it makes your when you hit spot lock, it's more precise. So instead of like ten feet, it keeps it within five feet. Mine was always within five feet before the hockey puck, but it allows you to use the jog feature. So the jog feature is if you've got spot lock on, you can hit the right arrow, it'll push your boat over to the right five, five feet. feet yeah. Or or you can go up, back, and man, I use that a lot. <laughs> so, That's so nice money. Words, I, you recommend it, I go ahead and install that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an easy on. install. It's an easy install. Yeah. All you need is connect it to power and then uh, connect it Bluetooth and then calibrate it. You know, it's an easy install. It, it ain't gonna burn your battery down or nothing like that. So, it's, oh, what's, what's up, up Cash? Who's on here? Yeah, Cash, he, uh, Frank. He the one that put me on to getting it, man. I think I had that hockey puck, man, probably uh, six to eight months now, man. Probably longer than that. Yeah. Hey, good evening, Django 3K and Hammer. What's up, Bob? Carl Burrow. <laughs> Marlboro man, <laughs> which uh, tr which um, which trolling motor you got? You I got, got the power drive. Power drive. You just got spot lock. Yeah. Okay. Got everything. Okay. Bluetooth. Got everything, just like the yeah, Bluetooth. Everything. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I just um. What happened was my collar wore out on. I was fishing a lot, man. My collar wore out on, right? Okay. And uh, instead of me trying to, you know, I bought that kit to change that collar out. Uh huh. But I said, hey, a lot of work you got to do to change the collar. I hear it's cheap just to buy the whole motor. I think the mm. whole motor was like eighty bucks, you know. So I just went oh, wow. and bought a whole new motor with a new collar on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You change, you know, swap one for the other. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, how I did it. And then just keep the old one just in case, you know. Yeah, keep the old one just in case, you know. Yeah. And uh, I bought that hockey puck because Chris suggested that it, it would improve the, uh, like you say, uh, my positioning. Because one night I was out there cussing so bad, man. Because I, man, I was all over the place. Chris, like, yeah, I ain't proud to hell. No, I ain't all right, man. I'm like, man, I'm all over the place. And I found out the reason why I was that because the little nick, the collar, it didn't have nothing to grip on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it yeah. Just going yeah. around in the surf, and I didn't know it. You know, I just thought yeah. the doggone uh, eye pilot was just going crazy, man. And uh, yeah. I had been doing that for months, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have drove me crazy the way I fish, man. But that yeah, spot lock is, uh, is crucial for me because. You know, we we got the pole. I got the live scope pole. So one hand is controlling the pole. One hand has got the rod. And when I hit spot lock, I don't have to worry about the trolling motor at all. So, but I use the foot control now also. You know, when I when I don't have spot lock, like when I'm chasing fish, I use my foot control. So I had to get used to doing that again. I hadn't done that in over 20 years. When the, when the, we started using the remotes, I hadn't used the foot control in forever. So, but I, I, it's like riding a horse, man. I jump right back in and I can chase a fish down with the best of them, I think. But yeah. Well, guys, while you, um, uh, while I got you on here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I uh, actually had, what actually happened. Um, uh, Derek Fulton, this guy right here on the broadcast with me, he posted a video today of some of the most phenomenal crap I think I've ever seen. And, uh, <laughs> There was a, you said, uh, Santee Cooper? Santee, yes. Yeah. All right, he called him at Santee Cooper, and I'm talking about he caught on average. How about big they were again? Uh, the biggest seven weighed 1380, and the smallest was a 163. Uh, Hold on, I'll tell you. Okay, I so. Good. The smallest was a 163, my biggest was a 240. Yeah, and uh, the biggest seven weight thirteen eighty two, but I had twenty that I kept, and the smallest was a one sixty. So okay, those fish were so phenomenal. I called Derek up. Derek up. I said, "Hey, bro, I, said, I got to ask you for a small fish." He said, "Shoot." I said, "Listen, man, I want to come up there and get on the boat with you, man." 
I want to see these fish come out of the water. He said, okay, fine. I said, no, I want to come up there and get on your boat. I bring my cameras and we'll sit there and we'll talk junk, what have you and stuff, man. But I want to pull a couple of those monsters out, man, the way you took, the way, the way you're doing it, because we got to get this on, we got to get this on film, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you know what, yeah. like you say, like, you know what, uh, Lope told me yesterday, somebody said, he said he got in a cousin argument with somebody because the dude said, he said, he catch fish at Tobo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so he catching catching fish at Tobo or something, Lope was telling me. And uh he said we go all the way up on that big water and all we be doing is catching the little eight, ten inch crap. I said, dude, what what eight, ten inch crap I'm catching? I said, I've got actual videos of these fish, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh it hurt me a little bit, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I, <laughs> I couldn't defend myself, you know what I mean? But I'm like, who keeps an eight inch fish, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this, Lope said he cut the guy up so bad, and it was his homeboy's daddy, man. And uh, he said he didn't even kill him. <laughs> yeah. He had to get him, man. And uh, I said, man, now I'm feeling some type, type of way. So when I saw those fish today, I said, go my opportunity. Yeah. Here go my yeah, opportunity that... right now to show y'all some pork fish. Yeah, that's why I did the little video, man. Um, you know, so you can actually see the size as opposed to, you know, when somebody take pictures, they be stretching their hands out and, you know, making yeah. the fish look bigger. But you ain't have to do that uh, with these fish, man. They, they was, they was just, it was crazy, man. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and I was, and I was looking at, you know, I was moving around cause I was trying to find some new spots. That's normally what I do when the fish biting good. And that's a good tip for you guys. If the fish biting good and, and you ain't worried about going home early or, or catching your limit real quick the best thing to do is move and find another spot you know it's hard for some people to move when fish biting i know but if they biting there they probably biting somewhere else and so now is your opportunity to find a new spot and that's exactly what i did yesterday i i fished about i probably fished about 12 brush piles and every one of them had fish on it, but it was it was a couple of them though that didn't have nothing but but hammers on it. I was looking at hundreds of them, man. It was just crazy. That's what I was telling Sam today. I said that's that's the new update they ought to come out with. You know, Garmin. You know what? They didn't change the game with the live scope, so they need to come up with an update that actually allow you to know how big the fish are. You know what I'm saying? Like when it you takes, come up yeah. there and have a little tab to come over and they tell you how the old fish finders. <laughs> They have a little number come out there and tell you yeah, the yeah, on the fish. Have yeah. them come out two pounds, three pounds, yeah. one pound. You can talk them numbers out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes and it I mean, definitely you, help you like when you on some deep, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead and yeah. move off of them, you know. Yeah, you can definitely uh, see the difference in a real, real big fish and just an average fish. You know, that's kind of obvious. Like when you're fishing a breast pile and you all you see a big old catfish swim by. You know, you can definitely tell that. But I was on a tree, a couple of trees yesterday, man, and all these jokers look like hook caps. And every time I set the mm. hook, I was shaking. I was like, I know this joker three pounds. <laughs> mm. But yeah, it's crazy. So, it's only so gonna get why better. Why do you think too. those fish are so big, man? Man, I wish I wish I knew. If I knew, I would try to replicate that on Clark Hill. Um, I don't know. It's you know. That question gets asked to everybody that fish down there in Santee because it's not just the crappy that's big. They got brim down there five pounds, shell crackers five pounds, catfish 80 pounds, 100 pounds, bass 12, 15 pounds. I mean, everything down there would be alligators. <laughs> everything down there is big, man. It's, it's, a, it's a great place. It's, it could be extremely dangerous, though. Um, because it's the weather has to be almost perfect in order to fish where where I've been fishing. Uh, yeah. You know, if it's blowing ten to fifteen, I don't even I don't even go. And I got a pretty decent sized boat. I don't even go if it's blowing like that because it's just too dangerous. So do that overlay work for you, D? No, he didn't say Santiago. He said Santiago. Do that overlay grid on the uh, garment work for you? 
overlay yeah you know oh. those squares and when they swim through those squares you oh yeah 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 games. yeah yeah absolutely absolutely okay you know, so it that don't work out that great man you think about it because i've been looking at it right say like um all right for an example you you got your live scope on right and just say i know you guys are uh jigging right but just say i'm i'm tight lining and i set my forward distance to the length of my longest pole right just beyond the length of my longest pole just say if i got a 14 inch uh rod right and i set the forward range is 15 right and mm -hmm. it, it it actually uh what you call it it uh zooms in on that location right well you see the block you can count it says each block is like in five foot increments right and then you will see a fish in that block right and five feet so he's looking like damn this this fish here is almost two feet long you know what i'm saying in, in my mind i'm guesstimating it right but then when you catch the fish you damn deep you know what i'm saying yeah so so what you got to do and i've learned this from watching these guys that fish super shallow water you got to zoom that thing into it get into two two foot increments so okay. when it when it's two foot you know you can you can get your scale down a little better than when it's five foot now you and me probably don't fish that shallow that often so most of the time our stuff is going to show five foot but the times that you do go shallow and i'm talking about less than 10 foot of water if you zoom that joker in to where the increments are two foot then then you can tell that's like them guys that fish down in grenada man i was looking at their live scope i was like golly man this fish is freaking huge and then you look and i was like hold on they had two foot how in the world they get at two foot and i had to ask one of them i thought it was something you could change but no it's just based on how far you zoomed in most of the time well, i'm well, fishing well, I, I, far is before it goes to I, I think it's less than i think it's less than, uh, less than they got tell me. yeah it's it's something real shallow i i, I want to say 20 but i don't know I, it's i i keep mine at 65 because i want you know how i fish i want to i want to look as far as i can throw that jig and i can throw that jig about 65 feet and i want to see it hit the water so that's where i start and then i start narrowing it in from there but never do i you know zoom in that far this time of year now in the spring when they in you know five foot of water then I, i'm gonna try it this year to see but them guys like in Mississippi and fish that shallow stuff, man, they you can see it and man, it just be a big old blob on the you know, I'm like golly, man, that's obvious. That's a huge fish. But we oh, fish in so game, deep water and stuff. Let, let me ask you this. Now. I want to try. Man, go ahead, Sam. Go ahead. Uh have you started chasing them? I did last uh late last spring and, and I was nailing them. So I'm I'm pretty good at it. It's a lot of work for me though but did you, did you did you go with a longer pole or you you can't pitch it uh no uh last year I was using a nine foot pole and you just pitching there and watch it fall you shooting out and pitching right yeah I was casting to it and winding in slow but uh yeah Red River said two foot increments start around 10 foot that sounds about right um this year though I'm gonna use a seven foot pole um and I'm gonna, and I'm yeah, and I'm gonna cast to them. I'm gonna cast to every fish. I'm not gonna do that dipping, uh, dipping stuff. Oh, you see that? From the, uh, yeah, I want to stay. I I, I want to catch the. Oh, that's watery in South Carolina. Uh, it's been a while, DDL, since I fished it, but we do have it's a tournament well, coming man. up there. Oh, what's up, Will? Yeah, we got a tournament coming up there in um on the 23rd so my partner and I we're gonna start going up to water refishing uh here here pretty uh pretty soon he fishing I think he fishing Friday but it's probably muddy right now that lakes get that lake get pretty muddy with all the water we have but it's a good lake I mean we caught some nice ones up there I like watering did that answer his question yeah okay Everyone know that you show your video on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, oh, it's about the war with the fish. Yeah, I put it on uh, DB, uh, DB crab fishing on on uh, 
on Facebook. It wasn't a fishing video, just me holding fish and then a uh, Django, did you see the one where I had uh, the fish in the cooler? You seen that one, right? Yeah, I saw the one you had. A, you had an air raid on. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you really can tell how big them Joker war boys. <laughs> no, nah, it is. Yeah. It I wasn't even looking at the length. I was looking at quick. I was looking at how you had to grip them, man. That's yeah. how thick they were. And I'm yeah, like that. About that thick trying to back, man. I said, yeah. Look, yeah. Look, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want right now. So I said, man, let me call Derek. And uh Sammy, like I say, Sammy called me all on my way to Atlanta and um <laughs> I got a phone saying I was gonna call Derek, man, try to rain something, bro. He said he's gonna take me out that one weekday that's in. Oh, okay. I promise okay. I ain't gonna steal nobody location, man. I am I'm, I'm pure like that for. Well, I got uh, a neutralizer. Adventure. Hey, you see you seen me black? Yeah, you gonna flash when, when they hold up that neutralizer and zap you, up, <laughs> zap you. Hey, I give you my word, man. I man, I have, I have. Hey, I'm Django, with no kind of falsehood, bro. Django, yo, bro. He ain't gonna take you to no hot spots anyway. He's a tournament oh, fish. Oh man, <laughs> hey, I took y'all to one of the best spots I know. Man, hey, I was good that, that you took us out there, man. I had a great time. No, man, I'm just gonna get on the boat with him. It, it's it, it, it was a it was a good spot, but I guarantee you that one of your tournament uh, spots. Ringer, man. <laughs> <laughs> that you got one of them plans here, phone man. Oh, <laughs> it ain't got no real. Uh, hey, you in a construction area? <laughs> oh, you got to be able to hear. Yeah, we'll go down there, Django, and film some stuff, man. It's just we got a couple things we can't show, but other than that, um. Oh, I'm oh, gonna man. be like this right here. I'm gonna have this on you. And okay. Gonna be none of yeah. that put it in the back. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna. I'm gonna yeah. film, bro. Yeah. Meryl said, "I got skunk on the breast side of day three hours on a lake. I was changing dig and on the move. Hey, man, it is what it is. Sometimes ain't it right, so." Yeah, man. Uh, I think I seen when he posted that. He still caught some good fish, though. But fish, yeah. But Paul, three hours, well, a little bit too much time. Yeah, what I told him is, man, you got to have move. days like that to appreciate the great days, man. Yeah, Cause... but I'm, I'm going to say that right here, Romero. You ain't going to eat all them fish no way, man. You know what? <laughs> you brought enough home to eat. You know what I'm saying? But get what? You catch 30 fish, they going in the freezer, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, man, you caught four to five nice fish, man. You go ahead and fillet them up right quick. You'll probably go ahead and cook them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they actually Dango. probably did you right. Django. Ramil yep. been on it, boy. His freezer probably running over. Yeah, I know. He's been getting man, them he's all. He's a great fisherman, man. He's a good fisherman, man. I, I would love yeah. to get up there and go. Hey, uh, promise me this, uh, Ro, uh, Romero. If I ever get up around your area, you're going to take me fishing in. He in Texas, right? In, in Houston area? Uh, yeah, I think he's down by Waco. He down around Waco area. Oh, he, okay, uh, yeah. Fort, Fort Hood. Yeah. Ah, he told me the name, but uh, I can't remember, man. Hey, Romero, did that thumbs up for me, man? Yes, sir. You're going to take me fish. I might get down to Fort Hood. Go yeah, I'm going to go down when I get my cyber truck. I'm going to ride now. Coming straight to you, dog. That, that, hey, that ain't your That's stomping right. ground, uh, Hammer? Say again? That ain't none of your stomping ground? I ain't never been stationed at Fort Hood, but uh You ain't never been down that way? Oh, I've been down there several times. Working. You say Killeen, Texas, man. Killeen, yeah, that's Fort Fort uh Fort Hood. Killeen, Waco, well, I got all the right here. I forgot all about it. Well, man, well, uh, I'm gonna come over there and go fishing with you one night, man. And uh, introduce the word to the to Demon Well and Lake Blackship. You got you got your own monsters though, man. They got a tournament yeah, on Lake know. Black here coming up soon. Yeah, I saw that flyer, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able they to make no that money, one up. They got no money. I know, man. We uh, we had crap USA on Lake Greenwood last weekend. And me and my partner came in third, and we didn't. We I pre-fished for about four hours. <laughs> we just got lucky, man. man. Four hours. 
Boy, you yeah, I mean, good and you come in third. Yeah, we came in third place. You can't, you can't ask for much better than that. Yeah, man, we was, we was get a chance to pre yeah. yeah, we was extremely proud, man. We were just going. Yeah, That's why, man. I talk. Yeah, I take great notes. I keep a great log, and that's what really. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. man. Hey, man. Uh, I got a couple questions I need to ask, you, but I want to ask you this first, man. You got anything you want to say around the hot man? You've been giving up a lot of good juicy stuff, man. What else you got to get rid of? To sell? I always got yeah. stuff for sale, man. I got I some like that new stuff. You got some. I got some scales, fishing scales. I got uh you ever heard of this thing called the skins it? So what it is is you 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 like fillet your crap and leave the skin on and scales on, then you run it through the skins it thing and it takes away the uh skin and the rib cage automatically. I got one of them. Yeah, it's called they bought a hundred and sixty dollars. I'll sell it to you for a good price. Like what? Are oh, you gonna holler? I holler. But that be easy, man. Just get a dog on legs. I go through them, man. Yeah, I tell you what, holler at me on that. Yeah. Hey, is that the one that look like a mellow uh, paint roller? It rolls up through there, rolls skin clean off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. A lot of people get. I mean, some people like it, some people hate it. But uh, I, we had a store here this summer that uh they had some good deals man i just went in there and bought a lot of stuff and i've just been reselling it hey i uh, thought i was going to use a lot of this stuff George, fish with us. hey come on we're gonna have to take you to uh what's the name of your leg again man i keep forgetting park hill park hill yeah we're gonna take you out there with them big fish here, man. yeah this is a yeah. big place man there put you on some some moss and let them let them talk junk to you. Make yeah. you feel about this big. Yeah. Like y'all, need right to, hey, y'all need to take a trip, trip to uh, Santee. They got some big ones there, too. Eric know it. Well, look at man. Cool. Let me ask you all this, man. Um, I had such a great time down there in Steinhagen, man. Would you guys be interested if I put together a trip to go salt, salt life? i would man in. but it's it's uh you know it's all about timing for me man i i have well, so I mean, much stuff going on at, uh, we can do it at convenient time yeah I, uh, I ain't got nothing but time i know man I'm, hey i'm listen, trying to get there man. brother time is on my side listen to this yes, it <laughs> so it's just getting better for me right now man so you, would you guys be interested in something like that yeah, man. I'm oh, always no, down. Got a real nice, you know, uh, the stay, excursion, the ride, everything encompassed, man. We put it together, man, and we, all we got to do is go have fun. We, and then, you know what? It don't matter if we can't fish or not, but we can't fish all the time. You know what I'm saying? We just really yeah. go down there to see it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will be interested in that? Yeah. Man, I love so salt water fish. Then, I bro. see that saltwater fishing is what is that man you talking about exciting i mean you're gonna fly hey, down Sammy? yeah i fly down i fly down or i come down you bring me back and then i put some time in on no oh a clark hill i knew you i knew you were gonna be there i know you i yeah. know you want to be something man yeah <laughs> i do the 10 day thing yeah <laughs> i got you man i got you oh what else I was gonna say? Oh yeah, Derek, tell the guys uh, how you did on the uh, the benefit. Oh, uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, so last month, uh, a good friend of mine's granddaughter uh, was just born. She's she's about four or five months old. She had some heart difficulties, and she had to have a few a uh, few major surgeries. So he decided to to have a fishing tournament uh, to help support, you know, the family and everything. So Django and I got together and we put it out here. And to, and we actually, Django, we still got people sending money, like somebody sent her some money today. So right now, today, it's $1,500 that we gave the family 
Uh, majority of it came from DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. So uh, we definitely appreciate everybody for uh, uh, your donations and support. It means a lot. And and uh, like Sammy told me earlier when we was texting, you know, it could have been any one of us family. Yep. Um, and we would like to think that this community we have of fishermen and fish, fish women uh, will come together and support in any way they can. You know, so the family appreciated it. And the tournament uh, was okay. I, I wasn't able to make it. Um, my wife graduating uh, that same day, that same weekend. Um, but we, we left a little early from where, we, where did she graduate at? Uh, dang, where was that? Uh, Tennessee, Nashville. So we got back just, you know, as they were finishing up the. Uh, the tournament and everything so they were selling hot dogs and stuff so it was a great day man they raised they raised quite a bit of money for uh baby destiny and she's doing well she's home so again we appreciate everybody uh for your support and just continue to uh continue to pray that's that means more than of course any money we could possibly possibly give but we're definitely uh thankful and you know we appreciate it Man, you're a stand-up dude, man. I mean that from I thank the heart, you. bro. Appreciate it. But check this out, man. You know, it's my dream, man, for this community, man, to get enough people not only on this channel, but involved in such a way that if we come live one day and we say, hey, man, let's buy somebody a brand-new boat. And we all just kick in a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there it is. Somebody get a brand-new range of boat. You know what I'm saying? That's my yeah. dream, man. They do something like that, man. One day, you know what? They say you just put it in the house, right? Yeah, hey, man, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere, man. I mean, you never somewhere. know where this thing exactly. may go. You know, that's yeah. this. You know, I'm pretty sure all of you heard of Bass Master Sports, Bass Master Sportsman Society, or was it Bass Angler Sportsman? Whatever, BASS. You know, that started very simple, and look at it now. It's it's yeah. a it's a worldwide organization that, that breaks in millions and millions of dollars each year. You know, it started from somebody thinking, "Hey, let's have a let's have this big tournament." You know, so you you got to put it in the atmosphere, like you said, Django, and you never know, man. Man, you know what? I don't, I don't even want all that legal stuff, man. You know what? I want mine to stay bootleg, just like it is right now. <laughs> say, hey. They're going to have a tournament, yeah. We need a pot, man. Everybody put in some money right quick. Let's yeah. Make a pot. You know what I'm saying? That's, and hey, you, you know what? That's a problem I have. You know what I'm saying? To give somebody. Yeah, a, a problem I have, and I think it's because I spent 25 years in the Army, man, is, and, and Chris can attest to this, we, we tend to over plan and overthink the, the simplest things. And I'm trying to yeah. break myself out of that because um, I want it to be perfect yeah, ain't nothing gonna be perfect but i i tend to do that man and I, I catch myself every now and then it's like man you're overthinking it you know you you put too much time and effort in it uh but that's just the way i was brought up i've been in the military since i was 17 and i'm still serving so uh you know I, i'm gonna have to live with it because it pro probably ain't gonna change at this point <laughs> yeah, well, i've been ragged for 47 years <laughs> I ain't been no military. I ain't been. I ain't, I ain't been respectable. I ain't been nothing for five years. And I ain't gonna change. You know what, man? That's how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ain't no problem with that, man. had a testimony just then. <laughs> yep. Chris, say that's right. That, would, that would be very nice, man. To say one day, just come on here live. Say, hey, man, do something. And then we got like. 13,000 people in the chat. Like, hey, everybody, hey, man, I'm going to open up that go for me right quick, man. Let's go buy and send me a brand new yacht. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hey, we're going to send good. Real high, man, and make him pay for it. Hey, hey, do, do him wrong, Derek. Say, hey, we're going to send it, send it, uh, we're going to buy in the boat and make him pay for the doggone shipping, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get, hey, hey, I get it moved. <laughs> I get it moved. Yeah, one thing that I tried to do, man, is uh, I, I try to get more African Americans to fish crappy tournaments. And most of the time, uh, it's me and my partner, the African Americans at the tournament. Most of the time, they're getting a little bit more, but 
I, I just don't know what uh hey, appreciate it, Red River. I just don't know what I don't I don't know what, what the issue is. I some people just don't want to fish tournaments. I understand that, but mm -hmm. as as much people as we got they're strictly crappy fishing. Uh man, I just wish we could be more representative. Represented yeah. in the in the in the tournament uh field. Uh it's fun. I mean, I know it costs money. I know you know that's 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 a given. Uh, it's to me it's fun but i can honestly say that the relationships that i have uh made crappy fishing that i probably wouldn't have without fishing tournaments i have learned so so much about crappy fishing uh fishing tournaments uh you know i just i just wish we were more represented i don't know how to change that i've tried but so well there uh when, when, when I when I first started, uh, I had a guy that was asking me. I didn't I didn't want to. I didn't want to, you know. And uh, he finally talked to me, and I tried it one time. We got our teeth kicked in. Yeah. After that one time, I don't know. It was a fire lit, and uh, uh this ain't gonna happen again. I just kept. I I love to uh, to compete. Yeah. It, it, for the drive in me, I love to compete. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, the way I look at it, I'm the world greatest uh, fisherman. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. And when I hit that water like that, I'm the world greatest fisherman. Ain't nobody gonna stop me from that check. You know? Yeah. In reality, hey, it can go either way. You can get your teeth kicked in, but I ain't never had my teeth kicked in like that first tournament I had. I got my Teeth kicked in, and I said that'll never happen again, and it, it happened happen again. I always hey, been in money. I fished a tournament once, and this was years ago. I got beat so bad, I caught one crappy. That crappy was about four inches long, and I wasn't gonna weigh it in. But uh, some guy said, "Hey man, you get extra points. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you get extra points for you if you weigh the fish in. Like if I show up." If I just pay for the tournament, I get like five points. If I weigh a fish, I get another five points. So I'm thinking, I was like, well, I guess I'll just weigh this fish in. So I had my middle bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I had to dump my middles out of my middle bucket to put this little four-inch fish in. And I walked up to the scales and weighed that four-inch fish in. And I and and it was but I I the, the guys there. I, I guess they saw in me the drive in the competition and some of them pulled me to the side and said, Hey man, you need to do this. You need to try this. And I, yep. and I, and that was probably, that probably was like 20 years ago. And I got those relationships right now and we help each yeah. other. Yeah. So you meet I, a lot of great people. You, you you meet a lot say, of I fish hey, Thomas. Hey, I ain't waking up man too. Now <laughs> <laughs> you say, you say, uh, Hey man, you need to try this and you need to try that. That, that was, that was endearing, man. You know that some guy would try to teach you like that, right? Yeah. But I gotta ask you a question, man. When I came out there and fished with you, why you didn't treat me like that? Oh why man, I know you ain't saying that. I know you. I know you. I know you ain't throwing me on the bus like hey, that. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, why, Hammer. Why I had to hear all Hammer. that, man? <laughs> Hammer. I think he need to go back and look at the footage. He need to go back and look at the footage. Hey. Me and you was right at his boat. Look here, Django. <laughs> that hurt, bro. Hey. But you know what? That's what I. That's what I plan on doing. I want, like I said, I talked to Derek. I want to come out there and I want to fish with him. I want to get some of that experience with that uh, with jigging. Because of course, you know, I want to take myself out of my comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? I go fishing, man. Basically, I know I'm a catch fish, so I just basically just sit there and catch the fish. But I need to get more into the sport side of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna have a lot of time on my side, man. And eventually, man, people just well, I ain't gonna say eventually because people are already ask me to be involved in all these tournaments and all that kind of stuff, man. And I can't, I can't keep saying no to them, you know what I'm saying? As much as I go fishing, so I need to go get some corners, man, and, and kind of just, you know, uh, shine, you know, hone my skills a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh. You I ain't no way I ain't trying to toot your horn for you, man. But you, you, you special, bro. You special 
Hey, I ain't special with them feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me. Yeah, you're right, man. Uh, I, I, I enjoy sharing information. Uh, cause I know how hard it is, man. I mean, the, I hate. Well, I ain't gonna say I hate. I love seeing people catch fish, but I hate when I can't catch them. You know what I mean? If I'm fishing, and and I tell the story. Uh, where was I at? Oh, I was on Clark Hill. We was trolling one spring. And it, I mean, you know how the spring is, everybody and their mom on the lake. And these guys were just trolling beside me, wearing them out. I mean, they were slinging them in the boat. And they was telling me, hey, I'm using this color, this color. These are good friends of mine. They weren't lying to me. It just, I just couldn't physically catch them. They wouldn't bite my hook for whatever reason. I got so pissed, man, I wound my sh a whole other creek all by myself. I said, I cannot watch you catch fish and me not catch them. It's, I just can't do it. I just can't I feel do it. You on that. I feel you on that. That's like, all that happened like, a few I, times in my life. How you, you did me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way. You say you I can't, can't do. You can't, I can't do watch. what happened to me. I'm not going to watch a train wreck, brother. I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I, um, I, uh, hey, Chris, I'll send you the rules, bro. Looking forward to uh, getting with you, man, and uh, putting together a. Uh, I'm putting together uh, a great compilation of videos, man. And uh, of course, you know what I'm saying? You have your picture too. You want to use whatever footage you want to use. But I just, I, I don't think these guys really know what you do out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, I don't easy. think they know the size of the crappy. Because, you know, you got people that got YouTube channel, man. And they got big fish, man. But they, they ain't big like yours, man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. They yeah, body look, make their head look small. You see what I'm saying? That that's why I don't measure like. fish, man. That's a, a, a fish measurement means nothing to me. Exactly. Yeah, until you put that joke on the scale, because uh, and I still got these fish in the cooler. I don't know how long they are, but I guarantee you, ain't none of them over 15 inches, because they short exactly. and fat. But they about that thick across the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I don't call. I done showed the guy where I done measured 15 inch crab and they still under two pounds, man. Yeah. I said, how is that even possible, man? I said, Derry had a 15 inch crab, that thing be four pounds, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still waiting to catch that 21 inch crap in there and had two two basu. What's that oh, like in making? 22 and eh? talking socket. What's they, that they like? Sinclair. Oh, Sinclair, yeah. Sinclair. Ooh, I yeah, can't man. wait to see that joker, boy. I'll pay to get that joker mount. Limit it out 22, bro. Yeah. So, hey, when, when you going to Grenada, Hammer? Uh, right now it's a bunch of us planning a trip in March. Um, oh, in spring? Know. Yeah, cause I mean it's it'll be. What's up, Camel Joe? I didn't get a notification either. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, in the spring, um, it's a few guys that I that I've been fishing with for a while. We're just going down there for a fun trip, man. Hey, Joe, come in and say hey, man. Okay. What hey. time is? It? I've been trying to get that guy to go down there. That guy well, next to you. Oh, yeah, he I've been out there like five fish. times, man. It's it's great, but I tell you, I catch. Tell him. Tell I him. I've caught bigger fish on Santee than Grenada. <laughs> oh, hey, but I just like catching them big old white ones. Here you go bragging again. <laughs> uh, it's being local with the lady that came show us. Oh yeah, hey, I, uh, Chris. Hey, Chris. I already lifted them up, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We ain't finna, we ain't finna ride a shot now. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. De hey, de de hey Derek, there you go, man. Derek. Start recruiting. Because, hey, I would love to see what you just said. More brothers fishing tournament. Keep yeah. it up. Keep it yeah. up. I, that's just, just me. I mean, I I like, no, that's no, what anything I, I do, man. I, you know, I like to see us represented. I mean, it ain't exactly. like none of us fishing. We fishing. Yeah. We got boats. So Exactly. Yep. They can't get but along I, with they can't get along with each other, man. I don't know. What I don't mean? think that's it. I, I think here, here, here's what I here's what I suggest. And I'm just gonna throw this in the atmosphere like Django said. Probably the lake you know more information about on this channel is probably Oconee. Or or maybe Sinclair. So find a tournament that's on those lakes and, and, and just say, I'm gonna fish this tournament. And do everything you can up to the tournament day to prepare yourself to fish that tournament. 
find bigger fish and you can't find bigger fish catching small fish uh do your research uh one of the one of the things that i like doing is checking out past fishing results so seeing what it's gonna take to win like a like a coney in the summertime normally around nine ten pounds you'd get a check and, and it's gonna start increasing in weight as it gets colder and of course the spring it ain't no telling what it's taking the spring so I, I would do that uh get in contact with a tournament fisherman like myself uh, or somebody local to Lake O'Connor would be better, and there's hundreds of them, uh, and just and just just say, hey, you know, is is that a little help? Can I get a little help? Uh, some little pointers, and they'll probably you guys probably already know a lot of standing timber on O'Connor, and I can tell you, I've won no, I'm four. Start mine. I'm start yeah, mine. yeah, I, I've won four tournaments on Lake O'Connor, and all four of them was standing timber so that <laughs> that should tell you something right there uh and, so, and hey, it ain't hey, no hey, secret hey. spots either hey hey uh Derek, most yeah. all your uh, clubs around there they got uh they got their own website right yeah um uh, so clubs, yeah you can I, find all that information at a touch of the finger yeah there's there's they, I, they, most most of them before they kick them out they'll go back four or five years before they kick them out I know around here they do. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. way what won the tournament. Yeah, the few clubs fish, uh Peach State Crappy Club, they have tournaments on the cone in Sinclair, Blackshear, Clark Hill. And then there's another one, North Georgia Crappy Club. They got one coming up here pretty soon on Lake Oconee. I think in November. That would be the one that I would start out with. It's a hundred dollar entry fee, and you got to pay twenty five dollars for the club fee. So you get a partner. You know, that's seventy five dollars. You know, the fish yeah. tournament. Yeah, Django you know, and Low, Django and Low. There you go. That's oh, they stomping ground. He always ready, hey, man. He always ready. Listen, ready. that's oh. they stomping ground, and my would be my motivation it's hard for me to believe somebody can come in my stumble ground and uh walk away with this money me and you low can go get this money that's See, that's they, my they have low 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 light from peak man you know what i'm saying but it got to be something ignorant, man <laughs> <laughs> that that old it, somebody had to say something crazy to him like man i wear y'all out say what that was well, yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> You know, hey, I tell you what, hey, I tell you, I tell you what, Django, you, hey, you get around those uh tournament fishermen. They ain't scared to tell you what they'll do. Tell them, Derek. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're you, you hear a bunch fire. of that crazy. Hey, you hear a bunch of that crazy talk until you get on the water. All that change. Oh, really? <laughs> now, bass fishing. There's there's a lot of uh brothers this tournament bass tournament fishing man. There are some clubs in Atlanta. I mean, them jokers roll up here, man. They got pretty boats with rims and shining. I mean, it's it's awesome Great to see that. Yeah, it's here. awesome. It's awesome to see that, man. I mean, that's that just you know, that's just what I'm into, man. I like seeing that stuff. Yeah. I wish crappy fishing was the same. And see, they bass fishermen think, you know, when you think of a crappy fisherman, you think of somebody in a in a little beat up john both fishing the bridges and, and all and which it which it, it can be that but if you look at a tournament crappy fisherman's boat and a tournament bass fish that crappy fishing boat probably gonna have more electronics on it more more than likely yeah and and so That's it's good. it's then it's then kind of flip-flop um you know like Django, you got all, you got a bunch of stuff on your boat, man. I mean, you could it ain't no problem for you to, to hook up and go. Yep. Django, Sammy, and look. Sammy, you, Django you, Sammy, and look. you got a Triton, don't you? No, I got on Skeeter. Skeeter, yeah, shit. Yeah, I got on Skeeter. Oh yeah. You got a nice garage, man. Damn, man. I wish my garage that big. Dad, go. I know that gonna look like he in a doggone factory or something. 
That's what I need. I need that garage you got, man. Good gracious. Yeah, I got, I got old Skeeter ain't had it out this year. This, hey, I had this live scope just been sitting. Now I got the opportunity to put it in. Now I can chase some fishing alone. Because everybody oh, wants yeah. me to, hey, come go fishing with me, man. Y'all just let you pop the freeze. Up. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. I told you this. Hey, this right down my alley. I told you I like to fall to the winter. I like fishing in the winter. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think the bite is better, and I think the fish is truly bigger. You know what I'm saying? Ain't all those eggs yet. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. got like you were talking about those big bass. Yeah, yeah. But look here, man. We've been on here an hour and twenty minutes, man. Uh, that's about my time. And uh guys i want to thank you for joining us tonight man um uh, i'm gonna try to do this more often uh if you guys uh are supporters of the channel man kind of uh encourage me a little bit man tell me y'all then uh keep momentum going or what have you man and uh if you want to be a part of the broadcast like uh always i'm gonna drop the uh, link in the uh in comments and if you're a new upcoming fisherman or uh, you just want to uh Drop your two cents, you know what I mean, on on the chat, man. Come on in on broadcast. We'll let you in, man. And uh, thank you to uh, my girl. And uh, definitely, man, be uh, stay tuned, man. We're going to have some great videos coming down the pipeline. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of footage, man, that I hadn't actually produced yet, man. Uh, I'm going to get better, man. I promise you I am, man. I'm just, I'm dealing with something right now. I got a uh, stage for LND, man. And, uh uh if i can get over that hey, man, hey. And, uh, excuse yo. me uh django the, the, the hammer say the word the, the, the hammer say the word the hammer say he was done long line did he mention that yeah he's done that. long line and hammer oh you're freezing up i said are you who? done long line who hammer <laughs> who hammer done long line <laughs> hey i told hey, the guy Paul, he, he why paul killed him bro yeah I, 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 I told a guy one of my buddies today uh the next time i long line is probably gonna be martin luther king weekend for for three days after that i'm gonna put my stuff back up because we we try to go to santee martin luther king weekend every year to troll out in deep water and that's pretty doggone fun but after that it'll be one pole in so Y'all stay tuned one because I'm going on the boat with this guy, and Hammer. we're going to put it. You been one pole in the tournament? What so, you say that, Sammy? Hammer, you been one pole in the tournament? Oh yeah. Okay, okay. So I won. That, I won a Coney one polling, came in third place on Greenwood one polling. Yeah, that's this this year okay. so far. Okay, guys, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what better, I'm man. About. Anytime I go live, man, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a, a notice out, man, so you guys know that I'm actually going live. So the guys that want to come in on the broadcast and uh, speak their mind, y'all, y'all will be uh, I'll have full warning before I actually go live. So you guys can do that, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, hey, man, I wasn't even trying to go live today. My home boy called me up, say, man, do what you gotta do. So I said, all right, I'm gonna do it. He said, uh. Radio said, man, I really enjoyed your lives. I guess they're good people, great show. Hey, man, thanks. Uh, you ever want to be a part of the program broadcast, man? Like I say, get that link. Come on in, man. We some nice guys. I think we're pretty nice. What do you think, y'all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Django, Django, man, we're family. We ain't going to talk about it too bad. You know what I mean? No, I no. We, <laughs> we, 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 we all family. Here. Bit, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't going to be We all bad. family here. That's right. Yeah. Well, then let me tell you guys, uh, thanks for joining us, man. We'll catch you guys. Let's, let's try it again next Tuesday, man. If you guys are around, man, come on in on the broadcast with me. Sounds good. We out of here, man. Yep. Peace. Peace out.